it's time to update you on the bikes and where I've been, just in case you don't follow me on the Instagram. On my Instagram at Dingomoto with that zero instead of a O at the end. <laughs> um, so this this is the bike that I use for uh, that I use with the snow tracks. This is the the original bike that I started with it. Well, that one's it, but it's the one that I built from scratch. Um, I don't know if you guys could see, but I ended up uh, I ended up swapping the Milwaukee batteries to the actual 72 volt battery pack, just because it uh, it uh, you do get a lot more range and you don't kill your your Milwaukee battery packs um, fast. Because I I already have I've had three that failed on me. They were the older packs, but still, you know, it's it's uh, I think I've had them for two and a half years already. Which is a long time, but you know, it, it, uh, I don't know. I just feel like they died because of all the use that I, that I did on these two or all the, all the times I used them, um, with this. So it just, uh, made their life a little bit less. So, but, uh, so after using this, after taking it out, taking it to camping trips, and per perfecting a couple things, I made a second one, and I uh, updated a couple things. One of them was the lights. Instead of using halogen or these old classic lights, I used uh, LED lights instead. Of, um, and on this one, I need to put a battery pack on the back end to be able to power the 12 volt system. I use a step down from 18 volts to. I don't know if you can see it up here. So I, I would put a battery there and then the lights would work. Um, what else did I do uh, different on the other one? Oh, you guys are going to see I put front suspension uh, from our boys at uh, gopowersports.com. And here it is. So this is a new and improved. Um, so like I said, I new LED lights, new front suspension which makes the ride night and day. It's uh, the, so I'm, I already took orders. I'm making a, a third one. I'm taking orders already and I'm making the suspension standard. So all the mini bikes are gonna come with front suspension. It does add a weight to it, but I think it's worth, it's worth it because you have a, the, the ride's a hundred times smoother. Um, what else did I say? Oh yeah, the lights, I hooked them up direct, directly onto the, the battery. So uh, I used I used a step down right here. This guy's a step down from 72 volts to 12 volts, and uh, now I'm able to use the batteries with the with the with just this battery pack right here. And what else? Uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, the frame's the same, geometry is the same, everything else is the same. I did make make, make it a lot cleaner, so. My welds got a lot better. <laughs> That's a big improvement. But I did a little faceplate, so when you turn it on, um, it sh it'll show you the the either the, the percentage of the battery or the the bolts that you have left. And it turns off. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty neat. So when you're riding it, and like I said, I use this one for the lights. Same uh, concept, the, the the fog and the white light. Uh, it's just a thing, I like how it looks. But everything else is pretty much the same. So, and like I said, I, I already tested this thing. Um, I've done night, night rides with it. I'll probably post some videos at the end of this uh, video. Did night rides with a couple of buddies from LA Eskate and SD Eskate right here in California. Uh, they're a blast, man. So I mean, if I end up going to other states, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit up uh, other guys out there, in other states. But uh, it's uh, proven. So this thing's it's solid. My buddy, he weighs uh, 285 pounds, and we ended up doing a, a supermarket run, where I think we added like another 20, 30 pounds to his backpack, and this thing handled no issues whatsoever. And he's big too, I think he's like 6'2". So if you're tall and, and on the heavy side, I only weigh 145. So this thing uh, could carry me no problem. But if you're on the heavy side, this thing's proven 
that it could it could handle some weight um but yeah i wanted to give you guys a little update on this thing i'll be posting more videos on the on all the other adventures that i've been actually taking this thing on so i've been doing a lot of uh cruises with the guys and just taking it out in in uh, different places so i'll post that up i just wanted to give you guys a little update and then i made this crazy thing right here that hydraulic tube bender that i'll probably do a video of it too so you guys could see what that thing does i'm gonna be working on another frame i'm just waiting on laser parts for this guy but i'll be do um i just got another order for another frame so i'm gonna be working on that and at the same time i'll probably be i'll show you guys the video i'll be making a video how how i bent the the tubes using my crazy rig right here that i made um so yeah stay tuned for that one and all these were spare parts from work, so. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the new and improved mini bike. We're all loaded up. We have veggies, um, stuff, and more stuff. Oh, you know what? Mm. Let me have a piece of that. Yes. No, I'm serious. Let me have a piece. <laughs> no, but uh, most of the stuff, I mean, especially this one right here, is pretty heavy. So I'm sure we're going to add 20 pounds to your net weight. Yeah, so just to push this thing a little bit more. So we, I'm, I'm trying to reach the 300 uh, pound mark right here. Yeah, so, yeah, this one's at like 20 pounds probably, right? Yeah, it's, I have some eggs somewhere. So watch out the eggs. I took it, uh, they're over here. Yeah, so that one's pretty heavy because it has the liquid. You get the Arizona energies, the bananas for the potassium. So we're gonna load up and then we're gonna get going.
You know what? A couple things that I did notice. I need to put more cushion on that seat and make it like this one right here. Because that thing goes all the way down. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another foam on that thing. But other than that, dude, it looks pretty good. It handles you pretty good. That's about 300 and some change. 300 and some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So, um, there you go, folks. It should, able to, it should be able to handle 300 and some change. Yeah. Change. Happy days. Sweet. Now we're going to have breakfast.